Hey everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are on VATSIM, uh, the VATSIM network, and loaded up at a very strange place to me. We're in Buffalo, New York. This is not on the west coast of the US, so this is very strange. Um, the, the plan for this flight is going to be take off from Buffalo, fly, fly over Niagara Falls, see what it looks like in, in the sim, and then continue on to Billy Bishop Airport in Toronto, um, right in the, the harbor there. It's not a very long flight, but we are in a 152, so it could take a long time. Um, but it's gonna be fun to continue to experience some of the differences of VATSIM compared to Pilot Edge, and just have some fun exploring some other parts of the country and uh, other parts of the world um, on VATSIM, which is, again, a free service that provides ATC. Uh, it's similar to Pilot Edge with some very key differences which we won't go into, but um, this is my favorite flight, my favorite plane in Microsoft because it is the most complete and not a tail dragger. Um, so if I want to do something that's a little bit more non-tail draggy, um, this is the best, the best plane. Even a little bit more fun, I think, than the 172 steam gauge just because having that 530 sitting there not really being functional is just kind of a distraction so this i don't even have to worry about it we will be slant for flight and um just have some fun cruising around uh the lake here up in uh the border of new york and canada um, what's up jojo <laughs> every flight is long in a 152 yes That is true. That guy is doing the moonwalk over there. Uh, okay, I'm going to just get this thing started. I've been doing that a lot, especially in uh, in, Mic in Microsoft. Zero, zero, two, seven, just get the thing. <clears throat> sorry, just get the thing started, um, and then and then go from there. Uh, this plane is a little bit better with. Um, you know, realistic Temple starting Jersey. procedure and everything, but sometimes it's nice just to get ready to go. ILS oh, that was actually a plane. Where's that guy going? I thought that was just part of the scenery, but she's dead. Decapitated. Her kappa was tated. That's kind of cool. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. The information Victor. Okay, information Victor. Buffalo Niagara International Airport, aid of information Victor. Zero, zero, two, uh, all right, I'm going to go to... One, two, three, zero, where am I going to go to? Visibility one, zero. 33, two is ground. 33, two, one. Ceiling eight thousand go. That's ground, okay. Fan frickin' tastic. Where the hell am I? Uh, I got information, Victor, but I didn't actually listen to the weather. So winds are at 220 at 7. So we'll probably be departing runway 22. So that's cool. We're kind of we're kind of there. Um, oh, whoa, never never mind. We are stuck. We are at TAC Air, though, so that's good to know. TAC Air and... Um, uh, yeah, this is a Charlie airport, so we will need some departure action here. All right, I think that's that's about as much as as far as we're gonna get for a uh, pre-flight. We're at TAC Air. <laughs> um, Buffalo Ground, good evening, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Information, Victor, we'd like flight following to Billy Bishop Airport. See if that works. We're gonna get anybody. Ah, oh, that happened again. Thirty three contact. You have information, there we go. Victor. That should work. That's better. <clears throat> what are we gonna do? Three three thousand feet? Buffalo Ground, good evening, Cessna 204 Lima Echo, VFR departure request. 
Cessna 204 Lima Echo, what are your intentions? I'd like flight following to Billy Bishop Airport at 3,000 feet. Uh, that is Charlie, Yankee, Tango, Zulu, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Number 204 Lima Echo, the airport was... Could you repeat the ICO, please? Yeah, sure. It's Billy Bishop Airport, and the identifier is Charlie, Yankee, Tango, Zulu, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. And uh, number 204 Lima Echo, what is your aircraft type? We're at Charlie 172 Slant Uniform, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Thank you for the information. You are cleared VFR, um, maintain VFR at or below 3000. Departure frequency 134.9 squawk 6043. 6043. Alright, VFR at or below 3000. Departure frequency is on 349 squawking 6043 Cessna 204 Lima Echo. We are over at TAC Air as well. Number 204 Lima Echo. I got that. Your readback is correct. Buffalo Altimeter 3015. Expect runway 14 for departure. We'll expect one four for departures, Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Thank you. Cool. All right, so let's get this thing set up here. So we're we're you know we're VFR. That's fine. Um, three six zero four three six zero four three six zero four three. Uh, VFR requests are probably pretty rare for, <laughs> for VATSIM controllers, I think. Um, Captain Pillar, thank you very much for following. Welcome. Welcome aboard. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, I mean, he's probably issuing IFR clearances just hey, all the time. Bird. So, Whoa, not funny. surprised, but it's pretty funny. Evening, William. 20 minutes and still on ground. Some things never change. MRK. Happy Tuesday to you, sir. Thank you very much. We are in the no rush mode, as always. What's up, Slats? How's it going, buddy? Uh huh. <laughs> Bless him, indeed. That's funny. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the plane, the the plane selection in in twenty twenty is is pretty rough right now. Okay, so. We've got everything ready to go there. Um, tower is going to be, uh, let's see. This is the part of, um, uh, VATSIM that is really confusing to me because I don't like here. This is what I'm looking at off screen right here. I'm gonna see if this, if this works. Um, you know, this is the, the client V pilot client. So I can see what frequencies are up right now. So 34, nine, is our departure frequency, so there's Cleveland uh, Center right there. Um, but, you know, it doesn't, like, it's it's not as intuitive as pilot edges where you just use the frequencies that, you know, the real life frequencies. So we'll we'll see what, um, what happens here. We've got everything ready to go. We're squawking, and um, I think this actually needs to be turned on. Test and on. Okay. Um, Buffalo Ground Cessna two zero four Lima Echo Tac Air ready to taxi. Cessna two zero four Lima Echo runway one four taxi Papa. One four via Papa Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. <laughs> it is well. The only thing that was that was holding me back below was getting it to work. Now that I finally got it to work, um, it's, it's it's fine. What's up, guns? How's it going? Happy Tuesday. So ground is 33.2. And Buffalo ground, Cessna 204, Lee Mecca. Am I departing with you on tower, or am I uh, switching over to approach uh, prior to takeoff? 
Number 204 Lima Echo, you'll be contacting Cleveland Center at 134 Point Manor. Okay, 3494 Tower, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. All right. Again, a little bit, a little bit odd um, from a longtime uh, pilot edge, you know, sim simmer, <laughs> sim flyer, whatever you want to, however you want to say it, um, and real world pilot. So it's it's a little bit different where it doesn't follow necessarily the same frequencies that. Um, you know, you can't just look up who to talk to on for flight and and get the right um, frequency. So, little a little learning curve from that perspective. Um, November two zero four Lima Echo contact Cleveland Center one three four point nine. Have a great flight and uh, awesome afternoon or evening. <laughs> Thirty four nine Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Thank you very much. You as well. So. 34.9, okay. Yeah, I have I have the sector map open. Um, on, uh, on the browser. 34.9, all right. So there we go. <clears throat> Approaching runway 14. Oh. There's the whole short line. Holy crap. We're good. <laughs> good, good, good. See, look at that. Look at that FAA. Can't say anything about that. Uh, Druid, happy Tuesday. Okay. Cleveland Center, good evening. Cessna 204 Lima Echo, holding short runway 14 at Buffalo. Um. That's cool. Oh, our batteries our battery is that low. <laughs> That's awesome. And it did it freaking again. Uh there we go. Okay. We'll just keep the RPMs up. Just like an old car. Cleveland Center, good evening, Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Holding short room a one four on the ground at Buffalo. 3832 Cleveland Center, right of contact, continue flight of the tree to uh, their delete speed of Blocked. I'm going to do, do a right departure. Is that in or out? That's out. Air 512 Sierra Alpha Cleveland Center, score 570 Tree. Zero Tree. All right, where are we gonna where are we gonna jump in here? Cleveland Center. Good evening, Cessna 204 Lima Echo, holding short runway 14 on the ground at Buffalo. Air 204 Lima Echo, Cleveland Center, hold short runway 14, traffic landing the intersecting runway. All right, holding short, 1-4, Cessna 4, Lima Echo. All right, who else is coming up? Sweet. Someone's landing. Got some lasso operations. So 158, uh, contact Metro Tower 135.0. We're going to, Nate. There are 4832 verifier on the Barry 2. Departure of the Barry 2 should be southbound. I look like you're northbound. Where's he at? Cleveland Southwest 2582, follow Trinet 0. Where's he at? Uh, let's see. 
So 2582 clear, center, hello. Oh, dude, he's on like an eight mile final. <laughs> what the? Oh, wait, no, you're, it's a little closer. A little closer than that, okay. Star one five, uh, no, four zero one uniform tango, Cleveland center, uh, check. Or four zero one uniform tango, Cleveland center cleared into the Cleveland class Bravo airspace, squawk five seven zero four. What's up, Dave? Good evening, sir. This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill four flight for right now. No, five one two zero Alpha confirm you go to Traverse City. As we wait for this this traffic here. All right, Roger. I have uh, you to Traverse City via Oreo Ralph. Uh, Ralph is a D twenty one satellite. I will see you go into like Detroit City or Yipsani or Pontiac or one of those guys. Uh, what's up, Avalars? Thank you. Do I see anybody landing? I don't see anybody coming in. Dude, that dude was pretty deep out there, though. Oh, God. We've been center. Hotel Mike's on the ground. We're going to keep it rolling to Delta. Roger, Hotel Yankee. Mike, uh, exit right on Delta. Contact uh, Buffalo Ground. Oh. One three three point two. Here we go. One three three point two. There he is. Our two zero four Lima Echo. Are you one four land boy? One four left. We'll line up and wait. Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Approaching runway one. Entered runway one four seven thousand. He doesn't know that I'm going to be able to take off before the first taxiway. <laughs> for Lima Echo, uh, runway one four. Clear for takeoff. Fly around heading. Clear for takeoff, 1-4, runway heading, Cessna 204, Lima Echo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Lights, camera, action. Good. All right, little little 152. Let's do it, buddy. Air 512, Sierra Cross, Victor at 19-4000, the Detroit altimeter, tree 017. Look at that little cutie. God, this plane is so cool. Up to tree zero one seven. Uh, Bush Axer, happy Tuesday, man. Thanks for joining. Welcome. Beautiful Buffalo, New York. Look at that. So runway heading, huh? Okay. Got it, buddy. You got it. Center Delta eight eighteen, did I miss a call from you? Yeah, Carl, it's 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 fun, man. It's fun. Delta eighteen, negative. <laughs> AJ is good. I have flown with AJ uh, last week, I think, and he is he is very good. Yeah, we we need some Hawks action too. Well, a little 152 getting runway heading out in Buffalo. <laughs> what? What are you waiting for, buddy? Hi, Cleveland Delta 818H. What's up, Ryan? How's it going, man? Delta 18 approved. Thank you. We'll call back. Or 344 Alpha Whisk Cross 30 DME from the Buffalo VLR at 1811,000. The Buffalo Twitter Tree 015. This is so fun. I love airplanes. I love computers. Three four four Alpha with you cross thirty DME from the Buffalo VR at eighteen one one eleven thousand altimeter three zero one five. That was crossed. Uh, I didn't catch the uh, Lord Vold. Happy Tuesday. Eleven thousand for uh, four Alpha whiskey. That's thirty DME. Cross thirty DME at uh, eleven thousand four Alpha whiskey. 
Lima, Echo, uh, radar, contact, proceed on course. Proceed on course, Cessna 204, Lima, Echo. We'll take a right downwind departure for 1-4. If that works. Red 4, Lima, Echo, first as requested. I mean, I don't know if this really even counts as a downwind departure. <laughs> we were just so two, three, nine, bro, runway bro, heading for ever. 2,500 seems like a good altitude, though, so we'll keep it. We'll keep it here. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. <clears throat> cool. All right, so we got Lake Erie right there, and... Lake Ontario is going to be out there, and the falls should be actually, are they upstream a little bit more? Yeah, we'll see. So the 818 is back. Okay. Delta 818, welcome back. Connick, Boston Center, 123.75. Boston, one, two, um, three, point thank you guys for joining me tonight. This is a lot of fun checking out some new areas. If you're new to the stream, um, this is the Discord. Uh, it's fantastic community. Would love if you guys would give it a shot. A lot of fun. Uh, it's been super active lately, which is which has been great. A lot of new people coming in, new people to aviation. So if you are new to all of this. You know, whether it's ACT through Microsoft Flight Sim or just from the Buffalo VR at some random turn of events led you to watching this. Uh, joining that Discord would be a great way to learn more about it, how to get into it, both from the Sim perspective and from real world side. I'm learning too, on both. I'm learning the Sim, I'm learning in real world uh, flying, so we're constantly trying new things, learning new things never really flown on VATSIM too much so this is new to me even though it's the same sim and roughly the same communication procedures there are, are some differences that um, can make it a little bit tricky but luckily we've got a community that is super welcoming and very helpful um, no matter what kind of niche you are and that goes for the, the real world and sim flying as well so I'm um, glad you guys could could join today. Got some lower res autogen stuff down there. It looks pretty good. Autogen looks really good, even if it's not the uh, photogeometry stuff. That looks awesome. One of the things that I did early, early on when I got into flight simming was I did this this flight with Julia, and she really wasn't involved too much. I would just kind of bring her in to show her certain things, but even in, in vanilla X-Plane 11, what was interesting to me was flying across, you know, flying around the world and seeing famous locations, but from a perspective that you could see the actual geography of the area. And it's something that you don't get even from um, Google Maps, Google Earth or whatever. You don't get the, um, you don't get the terrain proximity feeling that you do when you're flying in real time in a simulator. I, I really, you know, you look at it on the map and you, you think, okay, that's, you know, yeah, you've got Lake Ontario, and Lake Erie really close there, um, you know, just, just on the map, that makes sense. But when you are just 2,500 feet up, you can see both. And it's not really apparent from looking at it on the map that you can see both and how close they really are or what the relationship is to downtown 
Buffalo to the uh, to the falls. It's really kind of cool to get that couple thousand foot up view of the surrounding area and get a much better feeling for where things are in relation to one another. And it's and it that goes for places that I'll probably never go to, but you know, in, you know, Buffalo. I wouldn't necessarily say Buffalo is, you know, a super famous, well-known city. But whenever it comes up, having now flown here virtually, I'll have a better idea where things are. Here's Lake Erie. It's really close to, you know, downtown Buffalo. You've got the river going through, and you know, we're gonna find out exactly where the falls are in relationship to the city. So it's going to be right right up here somewhere. Uh, and then you've got Lake Erie and then Toronto. And those are things that I never really thought about proximity to. I actually, if I'm being honest, thought that Toronto was closer to Detroit, which is not the case. But this is kind of forcing me to learn geography, which is really cool. Um, yeah, Lord Vold, and I, I agree. Um, yeah, never really knew exactly what you guys wanted. Like, if, if it's a towered field, I'd call center the same way I'd call a tower IRL. But if it's non-towered, I would, I wouldn't call unless I wanted to pick up flight following. Yeah, it's it's not as intuitive as pilot uh, we have information, Victor, on board. But once once you've kind of figured out how to check in with who and how that goes and for alpha whiskey turn it, it's a little right. bit um 20 degrees right for alpha whiskey you know it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to that it must be some kind of college oh, that's a big ass campus um yeah but once you get used to what they're looking for on who to contact and how um that it becomes it gets easier and easier Yeah, I've never been up here. I have not been... F um, the furthest upstate that I've been is uh, Monticello. I think I think Monticello is further north than Rhinebeck. Whichever one. Rhinebeck or Monticello are the two... Um, the two further north places I've been in, in New York. Um... No, I've not been to. I, I did not go to the Rhinebeck Aerodrome, unfortunately. It was for a work trip and did not. Uh, okay, work. Correction, AC 25. Three One, it was for a work trip, and two, it was pre aviation bug. 20 degrees, right? Getting down to 7,000. We'll expect uh, vectors for the ILS 23. Okay, so that is where um, the falls are. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, the the aerodrome is right off of the river, um, which is right where Rhinebeck is. Unbelievably gorgeous. The Hudson River Valley is so underrated, in my opinion. Um, God, it's so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. I went the first time I went was in the fall, and the leaves were changing colors. It was just like unbelievably gorgeous, and it's. 40 minutes outside of New York City. It's it's Denver, a 48, Catholic, it's a joke. Center, honestly, how nice it is. It's really really cool. Uh, Monticello is uh, is further west, but really really nice. Uh, it's not in the Hudson River, but it's kind of in that that just upstate New York. I mean, basically as soon as you are 15 minutes outside of the city, it's upstate New York. But. Um, Really, really nice. Oh, did you? Awesome, Dave. Very cool. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cross over into Canada, which is gonna be interesting. Uh, it's not so underrated nowadays. I got kind of Toronto Center one two five point seven seven space lights. Twenty five seventy Twenty-five seventy-seven Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Thank you. Clue 
Cleveland Center. Good evening. Southwest 1464, four zero miles east of the Goshen VOR. Flappable. All right. So that is the falls somewhere out there. This is going to be this is going to be interesting. Toronto Center. Good evening, Cessna two zero four Lima Echo two thousand five hundred. Two zero four Lima Echo Toronto Center. Good evening. Uh, climb uh, three thousand. The three thousand Cessna two zero four Lima Echo. Two zero four Lima Echo City Center altimeter is three zero one seven. You can plan arrival runway two six. Oh, uh, we'll plan runway two six. And what was the altimeter one more time? Cessna four Lima Echo. City Center altimeter 3017. 3017 for Lima Echo. Uh, the Niagara Loop. If I knew what the Niagara Loop was, I might be doing that. But no, I am not. I am flying from Buffalo to uh, Billy Bishop and landing. That's about as far as I got on the planning. Uh, do you have to submit a flight plan on Vatsim and Pilot Edge? So I don't. Probably it's going to be the same answer for both, but on Pilot Edge. Uh, only for v, uh, only for IFR flights. I'm assuming that it's going to be the same for VATSIM and um, VFR. You can if you want to, but there's you know there's really no point to doing that. Um, so yeah, really just for IFR stuff. There's a couple of benefits from the the perspective of. Um, recording that you might want to um, file a flight a VFR flight plan in the sim um, it will record your flight um, on some external websites and I'm blanking on the name of that website for pilot edge um, PE aware right yeah PE aware Papa echo aware uh, dot com is the the website that will record your flight if you if you file a flight plan in Pilot Edge, um, so that's that's one benefit. But for the majority of VFR flying that you do, you, there's really no point in um, filing a flight plan, and that goes for for real world as well. Okay, here's speaking of like lay of the land and how things go. I would have if you had just ask me which direction the falls go I would have imagined it towards Buffalo for no reason I never would have like, I have no reason to to think that um, but it actually flows away from Buffalo and that is really interesting okay I don't I don't want to bust this this airspace here that looks pretty cool that looks really, really cool. Yeah, and and generally speaking, the the real purpose of flight following in the real world is for search and rescue. Um, and when you don't have the need for search and rescue in the simulator, you don't need uh, flight following. The touristy stuff is on the Canadian side. Interesting. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's all over here, right? It's all over on that side. Really weird. Okay. That is so cool, though. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look spectacular. Like I'm not I'm not in awe over how that looks in in the sim. But what is really cool is to to see the falls in context in real time. You know, we're not doing, it's not Google Earth, we're not zooming in. It's we're flying from Buffalo here and seeing what it looks like, relative size, 
obviously not getting closer to it just because we're taking this flight seriously. Um, Dr. Azar, did I get that right? Or Drazer? Thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it should. I mean, it's based off of the, the satellite imagery. Um, that's really cool. You know, just, just the way that pictures are done and, you know, uh, marketing material, it, it just, things can look differently when you see them in context. And, you know, not that that looks small, but it's just, in, it's just funny that that's, that's Niagara Falls. Like, that's what Niagara Falls looks like. It's awesome. Um, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. I, I will I will definitely take a look at that. Yeah, that's really that's really pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> what about the whirlpools? Two zero oh. four Lima Echo. We runway two six for arrival. Which approach would you like to make? Runway two six. Approach, 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 2-6. We'll take the ILS for 2-6. Uh, that will work. Uh, Cessna 204, Lima Echo. All right, copy that, 204, Lima Echo. ILS 2-6 approach. Turn right heading 010, vectors for arrival. Right 010, Cessna 204, Lima Echo. Okay, so... <laughs> So apparently we're uh, we're doing this. One ten fifteen. Okay, one ten fifteen. All right, and two six. <laughs> I wasn't, I mean, I was planning on just doing this VFR, but the, the field might not be VFR. Because, uh, of course, I didn't really check. Yeah, he does, he does sound very much on top of it, which is awesome. And, and kind of why I want to take him up on the approach, too. And that... That's kind of the difference to, uh, it seems like in my very minimum time, minimal time on Batsim is that it's very much um, IFR, you know, that's, there's not much VFR traffic. Um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on, on the two runways. Julia, can I get another um, beverage, please? Good evening, Dress uh, 6490. Just off the uh, No, I am, I am not, Hank. I am working on it, though. Dress 6490, Toronto Center. Good evening. You're identified. SD, what's up, Direct man? Mix it on course, climb eight, Welcome okay. live. Direct mix update down. That's, That's pretty cool. Six. Hopefully this is the right... All I need is the right frequency. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> we need a scotch. I don't have any scotch, otherwise I would have yelled scotch. It just doesn't sound as elegant to say, Julia! Vodka! What is it? What are those waters called? Yeah, Lord Vold. Yeah, I finished my PPL. You've been... Yeah, man. No, it's not tonic. It's like flavored water. Ice. It's like ice or something. Um, I'm not really doing a good job of holding my altitude. Those things are called ice, right? Julia? Hello? Answer me. Uh, we're about to have a wet footprint, which is not cool. Yeah, well, actually, this isn't that bad. It's like, 
Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a pretty wet footprint. I wouldn't... I would not want to uh, put it down in Lake Ontario. But I, I will take the IFR clearance because it is... We're going to be in the... Is it sparkling ice? I think it is sparkling ice. I think that's what it's called. My usual drink was not in stock. They ran out of it. All right. Sounds good. Chef. Chris had a Thank good you. day making one zero one heavy out of two thousand. Thanks, pal. Twenty three thousand seven hundred four for Elbow Two Three Zero. American one zero one heavy Toronto Center. Good evening, client flight level three three zero. Yeah, this guy's good. Level two three zero. Make one zero one heavy. Trim, 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 trim. Is that some storm action that we have here? Yeah, should I say decimal too when I switch frequencies? <laughs> Failed the I-7. Right on. It's good to get a nice... Uh, I rating failure in there every once in a while. Yeah, we're we're about to head into some nasty stuff, which is totally fine. And I am just being terrible on my heading management here. <laughs> you could have. Oh, well you couldn't even get off the ground. That's a quick one. Thanks, buddy. What is that stuff called? Sparkling ice? Is that what it is? Sparkling ice. Oh, an unusual attitude for cocktail. It's a cocktail unusual attitude. All right, this I need to actually probably pay a little bit, a tiny bit more attention on the flying part. wants to like yank to the left like crazy yeah, yeah the the, uh, the cocktail came just at the right time So if I'm if I'm very unattentive in the chat, I apologize. I'm all over. Okay, I am yeah, going. Six four nine weather for you at London. Winds currently two six zero at five knots. Variable two zero zero through two six zero. Visibility ten miles. Broken at four hundred. Overcast seven hundred. Temperature zero two two point zero one. Altimeter three zero one five. Plan arrival on runway three three. And which approach would you like? Wow. That guy is awesome. Just six four nine recheck. Uh, we'll just take the RNAV Zulu for uh, three three. Not for me. <laughs> Just six four nine. Copy that. RNAV Zulu three three. All right. I'm gonna. I am going to pay attention for this approach here. I promise. Okay. Zero zero one zero at three thousand. Keep it steady, William. If we if we have clouds down to 400 feet, that would be freaking sweet. Yes, yeah, so we've got another photo mission on Thursday, which will be very nice. Um, Bonanza to Cirrus, brand like brand spanking new from the factory SR22T. So that will be really cool. Um, that's weather permitting. It's we've had a bunch of really bad fires in Orange County. So uh, if the winds die down, the Santa Anas are done, and the smoke kind of clears up, that should be uh, good to go. And then 
hopefully this weekend we'll get in a nice long uh, cross country, which will be either to Grand Canyon West, which I'm very excited for, or, um, I don't know what that E is popping in there was, uh, or we'll go somewhere, somewhere up north, which would be nice. Uh, we also are not opposed to following some um, some weather too to get some actual time which will be good so we're gonna play that one by ear and see but hopefully hopefully they both happen that would be a nice week of aviation stuff um, I'm working on editing the last little adventure we went on to Santa Paula which is just an absolutely insane awesome airport i i had so much fun um starting to go through that footage last night and editing editing that because i i forgot how crazy that day was it was unbelievable toronto center good evening pearson information is currently oscar the altimeter 3015 plan arrival runway 24 right descend one two thousand when ready Roger that. Uh, we'll descend one two thousand when ready. Information officer on board, and uh, we'll plan for runway two far right. Yeah, the wood the wood dash does look really good, doesn't it? Yeah, we are like full on wet footprint. I would not have. 204 Lima Echo, contact Toronto arrival now on 132 decimal 8. 32 decimal 8, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Decimal, that sounds so weird. Toronto approach, good evening, Cessna 204 Lima Echo, 3000. on doing that. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Thank you for the reminder. Alright. Uh, Toronto Approach. Good evening. Cessna 204 Lima Echo 3000. 204 Lima Echo. Toronto Arrivals. Good evening. On my 26 for arrival, information with case current at City Center. Altimeter 3015. Continue on your present heading. 3015, continuing Cessna 204, Liam Echo. Thank you. Yeah, the, um, you know, having, like, the, the Cessna that I fly has a um, touchscreen gar um, Garmin Avionics uh, uh, 375. The actual dot knobs on the Navcom work really well but the I like being able to you know to have the touch screen the physical knobs are really really nice as well because it doesn't matter where you're at you know with uh, turbulence or anything the simulator is a little bit different I have the SciTech radio panel so it's it's a little bit easier for me to to dial in the frequency but for some reason that like thousandth um, uh, November 204 Lima Echo, turn left heading 340. Left 340, Cessna 204 Lima Echo. Uh, but it for some reason adds that like thousandths of a, um, uh, you know, like five thousandths. I don't, I don't understand it, but anyway, um, I just have to make sure that it's, it's zeroed out when I actually change the frequency. Yeah, I, I was at three thousand. It's not. It's so not trimmed out right now. I'm like all over the all over the map. What's up, airplane man? Oh, 
<laughs> watch out for dash eights. We're gonna watch out for the Lake Erie or Lake Ontario. <laughs> Holy crap, unusual attitude. Cocktail unusual attitude. <laughs> this guy's looking at his scope, just going like, what the hell? All right, get back in there. God, like literally all I did was just grab a drink and I lost 300 feet of altitude and 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, wake to realize. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, that's the ticket. It's really uh, like the, a pyre up. We got some severe turbulence out here. Uh, some wind shear as well. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like off to the side. I think that's that's probably why. That's it. This is a little bit better. Got like side stick going. Anticipation of a cirrus formation flight. <laughs> this guy's drunk. Well, no, I'm not, which is the problem. Okay, let's just get. I just want to get the final portion of this. Uh, what's up, Janders? I just want to be, like, coordinated and. Good just for the final bit. Two zero four Lima Echo, turn right heading zero five zero. Right zero five zero four Lima Echo. Shut up. Focus time. Very serious. <laughs> Being very serious. Isn't this beautiful? Look at look at Toronto. Beautiful. Yeah, what about this whole like, hey, we're gonna explore different parts of the world? We're not. Now nah, it's a little bit tighter than standard. Rate. I'm in. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Are we getting vectored for traffic? Yeah, I did. I noticed that too, Nate. I was like, oh, that's a little bit. That's a little bit tighter. a little bit tighter we were at the R <laughs> I know I'm breaking my own rule we're not in a rush well I've had I, I have to I've already had one cocktail I think I broke the seal <laughs> get there I just Uh, hand flying can just if if it's just not if it's not right if you're not in the groove it can be so annoying in the sim. Pull up. Pull up. Uh, Newbie One TV, thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Uh, I think you're missing a comma and a zero below minimums. Uh, no. No, we have no de-icing. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the outside air temperature is either. I don't, where's the? Uh, yeah, we're fine. It's fine. Probably right. It's probably fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm joking. I'm saying you're missing a con like it's plus or minus 2,000 feet. Add a comma, add a zero, and I'm good Four to go. Four Lima Echo, turn left heading 350. 
Left 350 for Lima Echo. 350. This is live weather, yep. Yeah. So, copy the risk. Frick. Well, we're getting some practice on vectors. <laughs> yeah, when drinking, when, when, uh, yeah, having like 50 50 vodka waters, um, 200 feet is not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, the time is. Turn left heading 290, intercept the localizer cleared, ILS 26 approach. Right, 290, cleared localizer, 26 approach, Cessna 204, they may go. Oh, left. Yeah, the time the time has been adjusted. Left to Thanks. Clear localizer. Okay. If I can safely get this plane on on the runway, I was about to say on the ground. <laughs> that's that's kind of where my head's at, um, threshold-wise. But I think we can probably make it onto the runway safely. Lights are lights are all on. Looks good. Front approach got Delta 8942 flight level. I, don't, I have no idea what the minimums are. Delta 8942 turn around. 600. Arrival. Good evening. Runway two for right for arrival. Well, tender is three zero one five. Information Oscar is current. She <laughs> eight thousand. Yeah, runway's a bonus. Okay, that's I'm good. I'm good with that. <laughs> Runway is the bonus. On the ground safely is the goal. Have a, we have an emote for for minimums, don't we? Nope. Yeah, we do. It's pretty, pretty soupy, but it might be just not, over the lake. Get it in here, sir, and <laughs> let me implement it in there. It has me going to exact. Cancel IFR. I that's, assumed as much. Uh, fly What's up, Tides? Zero. Expect factors for arrival. Watch that. We'll fly heading zero, so. Um, yeah, we have a, a photo mission on Thursday, taking pictures of a of a new uh, of a friend's new Cirrus, which will be pretty fun. Okay, just cruise along here. Yeah, no, I'm not flying it, no. No, that'd be nice, but I am not.
<laughs> well, I didn't even pick up IFR. I wasn't cleared to anything. I wasn't... It, this was a straight-up VFR flight. There was no... IFR was not in the <laughs> conversation at all. <laughs> I just got it and didn't turn it down. I didn't argue with the guy. Dennis, Newegg Plays got canceled by Newegg? Dennis, is that is that actual news? That's stupid. Uh, Delta 8942, maintain 8,000, please. Yeah, right, 8,000. You seem to be 300 below your assigned altitude. Uh, check altimeter 3015. Breaking news, wow. That's too bad. General Flux Canadian Express 670 with you at just passing flight level 4000. Express right, 670, heavy out. Toronto arrivals, good evening. You're identified, climb 7000 and turn left, direct Saver on course. Climb to 7000 and turn left to Saver. So. You see me back at 8000 now? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, for Lima I Echo, see. wind at city center are 280 at 7 knots, clear to land runway 26. I am very not familiar with this area, obviously, so I was very confused where we are in relation to. For Lima Echo arrivals? Uh, arrivals for Lima Echo. For Lima Echo, winds are 280 at 7 knots, clear to land runway 26. Clear to land runway 26, Cessna 204 Lima Echo, thank you. Uh, sweet! Dude, that was freaking fun! I mean, it's not over yet. We still have to make it down safely on the runway. But how freaking cool is this? Very is the, is the answer to that question. <laughs> is very, this is very cool. Delta 8942, turn right heading 100. We got fuel, we got mixture, full in, we got lights are on. That's really, really cool. It's like Seattle. It's very similar to Seattle. Not on the glide slope at all. Five hundred. Dude, this is awesome. How cool is this? Holy crap, this is really awesome. I mean, I've we've we've probably all landed here in the uh, the landing competitions, but um, God, there's something about doing an actual flight and making it here that's really really cool. See if we can hit the thousand footers. Ah, just before him. All right. Express two seven zero heavy climb flight level two three. Freaking sweet. Climbing up to flight level two three zero. Uh, whiskey pilot, I just flew around. I just flew around it, so I'm not sure. We definitely didn't. Do anything special dude how cool is that we just flew from niagara or to from buffalo to freaking toronto how awesome is that <laughs> that's probably not what this looks like i'm just gonna guess that that's not what the terminal looks like um okay delta 8942 turn left heading 060 
left turn heading 060. Toronto Cessna 204 Lima Echo, we're clear of 26, parked at Porter. For Lima Echo, continue straight to the apron and flight plan closed. Have a good night. Continue on apron. Have a great night. Cessna 204 Lima Echo, thanks for the help. Delta 8942, descend 3000. Send in a 3000. That was. 8942. That was friggin' awesome, man. <laughs> uh, that was really, really awesome. Yeah, so this is the ramp right here. Uh, right. Yeah, this is a really cool approach into this airport. Express 670 Heavy, contact center now, 2577. Have a good night. Over to center, 2577. Uh, passport is ready to go. Yeah, passport is ready to go. We are looking good. We're looking good. Ah, oh, we're looking good. Thank you, Dave. That's like my favorite. <laughs> now these are going to get you. Blame Canada. Mouse, thank you very much for following. Welcome. Uh, my my dad is from New York originally. Yeah. All right. Bio break, and then I will be back, and I will reassess what our next leg is going to be. That was absolutely excellent. Holy crap. 